Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth and I'm Amy's matron of honor. I met Amy, actually we met before we started college. We had a Facebook message that we talked about meeting roommates and at Liberty we were all excited freshmen, but um, she wanted to live in main campus, I wanted to live in East, so you know it didn't exactly work out. Um, but it turns out God had different plans anyways because about a year later we reconnected and we ended up living together for two years during our time at Liberty and we also beat nursing school together. And we had long hours of studying and very early rides to clinicals. Um, we also got to celebrate with each other as we both started our first nursing job. When she came back to school junior year, talking about some boy she met, um, I knew Michael was the real deal. So once I actually met you, it was incredibly obvious how you felt about her. Um, you showed love and kindness and intentionality while pursuing her heart. You have even gotten her to eat vegetables and enjoy running. Michael, I can't believe this day is finally here. Since I was a little girl, I have been dreaming of this day and have prayed for the man God would choose to become my husband. I am so excited that that man is you. Thinking back to the day we met, there was always something special about you and the connection we had. Your compassion, perseverance, patience, and faith in God are just some of the many things I love about you. As we start our life together, I cannot wait for our adventure as husband and wife to begin. As time has passed, I have found that I love you more every second, and this gift is a reminder of that. See you soon. Love, your soon-to-be wife, Amy. Dear Amy, as I write this letter, I cannot help but reminisce about our story. I remember the first day I saw you, I thought for sure you must have a boyfriend. By the next day, we were hiking through Raven Rock Park. I prayed that I would meet a godly woman like you since I was a child. I thank the Lord every night that he allowed our lives to cross paths Amy, I've been praying about this day for my entire life. Not just for the ceremony, spending time with friends and family, and saying our vows. I love you and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. With love, Michael. Oh wow, you're beautiful. Thank you. Ooh, we love you. Love you. You all excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your hands are cold. You are, you are excited. <laughs> <laughs> A note for you to have to read it. I love you. I love you too. Hi. You look very handsome. You look so beautiful. <laughs> On behalf of Michael and Amy, I would like to welcome each of you to this glorious celebration. Today, you may have thought that you were coming to an ordinary wedding, but I contend to you today that you have come to a worship service. It is my understanding from scriptures that marriage is a God-ordained union, and anything that God ordains must be an act of worship. After witnessing their covenant to God and to each other, I declare that these two are as one in the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore I say that whatsoever God has joined together, let no man separate. And in closing, I say by the power vested in me by the Church of the Living Christ, by the state of Virginia, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Michael, you may kiss your bride. Without further ado, it is my distinct privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Holcomb. Uh, hello everyone, 
My name is Steven. I'm uh, Michael's younger brother, one of Michael's younger brothers, and I am the best man today. Uh, so I've known Michael for all 24 years I've been alive, uh, including growing up with him in California. Um, so I've observed him grow into the man he is today. And before he spent all his time thinking about running, medicine, and of course Amy, he spent all his time thinking about Legos. We both did. Um, some of my fondest memories with Michael include building Legos in our rooms in Buena Park, Irvine. So now that Michael and Amy are moving into a new apartment together, uh, I'm happy to pass off the Lego building responsibilities to Amy. Into her capable hands, she will take over from me and do good work there. And to get them started, I hate to spoil the gift I got for them, but I got the two of them a Lego, the new Millennium Falcon Lego, 1,472 pieces. Um, the box says it's for ages 14 and up. Now, Michael, as a mere uh, army officer and medical student, is going to have a lot of trouble with that. But fortunately, Amy helping him out uh, will make sure that he gets the job done. I'm excited for Michael and Amy to start their new lives together. I'm excited to welcome my new sister into the family. Um, and I want to just share a toast to Michael and Amy. Congratulations. Well, hello, I'm Keith. Um, I thought I was done. I mean, I gave the welcome, a prayer for the meal, and those famous words for mother and I. But I guess I'm not done. Um, I'm supposed to uh, toast this lovely couple over here. So first, my charge is to you, Michael. I think every father out there who uh, has a charge to the man who dares marry his daughter, that uh, he is to love and cherish her the way she's always been loved and cherished. I think every father would encourage his uh, son-in-law to know that he is expected to protect and to provide for his daughter. I've come to know Michael, and, and I trust that this is going to happen, so that would just be wasted words. So my charge for Michael, my charge for you is, is different. My charge for you um, is because of who Amy is, because this beautiful little dancer, this ballerina, who loves to be pampered and, and cherished, is also tough as nails. She really is. And, uh, and if anything came along and she needed to take care of herself, she would. And she is already surrounded by love of friends and God, so she's taken care of. So your job is to be the man of God that God wants you to be in this marriage. And Amy, you know that we love you. This is the part where I cry. My charge for you is to build up Michael in this relationship, for you to bear with his mistakes and his missteps, and to encourage him in his spiritual growth. So our toast for Michael and Amy is that God bless your marriage in such a way that the two of you are much, much greater than you could ever possibly be separate. 